Hello all, hope you're doing good. Today in this video, I'm going to create a new screen flow to create new record and how to upload files to be added in the new record in the same screen flow. So for that, I'm going to create a new screen flow uh, to create a case and upload relevant case related files uh, in the case. So and then I'm going to add the new screen flow in the service app console so that um, uh, whoever use that app console can use the screen flow. All right, I logged into Salesforce and I'm creating a new flow. Okay. I'm choosing screen flow and I would prefer free form and for this uh, we need to have a screen element all right let's name it okay and in the control navigation I don't need pause or previous don't need it and here I need um, case subject, case description. Uh, so I have to drag text field to texts. So the one is subject. And if at all you, you wanted to make it required, then you can mark it as required and you will see this symbol here and for this one it's a description okay cool and i need a case origin type reason mm -hmm. pretty much that is it okay so all three are pick list we are going to see how to create a pick list options as well for screen flow. Uh, three pick list. So here it's case type. And so here we, we are going to create a new resource for pulling the pick list values from the object. So in the resource we are going to choose pick list choice set give the api name and object from case the data type is select pick list or multi select pick list for us pick list and the field we have to select case type this is the one so you can uh, choose in what order it should display the pick list values. I'm going with the default order. So that is it. It will it will uh, update here. And the next one is case origin. And same, we have to create a new resource. Pick list choice set origin and it's a case object next it's a case origin yes and the last one is what case origin case reason it's the one is the reason case reason and new choice is is the reason okay i think we are done with the screen options okay so uh I think yeah this is done to upload a file uh, we have to have a record 
so without uh, having any parent record we cannot upload file uh, in the fly right so uh, after collecting all this um, information from the user we are going to create a record so yeah after creating a record uh, we'll have another screen flow screen element to upload a fo uh, file for that record so here we are just collecting the information and i'm going to use create records and the object is case so we uh, here we have to map all the data that we have collected in the screen element right so subject this is these are the fields from the case object and uh, in the right side we are going to map it from the screen element so description you see here screen components we have the description map it and we need reason and origin and type in the pick list choice it's you can choose it reason origin and type okay all right we we done we are done with the mapping but we have to have uh, the id assigned in a variable so then only we will be able to uh, upload our files into the variable so for that we are going to create a new variable to uh, store the new record id so i just selected this manually assign variables option and i'm going to create a new resource so it would be variable and let's call it as new ID and it's a text choose in what way I need I'm going to choose to input an output and it's there okay so it's done here connect it and i'm going to create a new screen for file upload and yep as usual i don't need pause or previous initial okay and for uploading the file we have to drag this element here file upload view the ap name label and if you want to uh, use other things then you can use i'm just going to map my record id here in the related record id we have to map the new record id that we have created in the previous screens so this, this is the variable that is holding our new record id right so i'm just adding this here i think pretty much it so it's done let's let's save it and check okay i am saved it and activated it 
let's check by using run whether it is working or not okay subject is in here choose anything next okay here i'm going to upload a file anything and then let's finish all right i don't see any errors here so let's assume our case got created so yep it got created and all the values that we have given over there is available here and the file is also here okay that's all right so our flow is working so our first requirement is done so the next thing is they want to add this flow in the service home layout right so for that just go to your whatever app you wanted to add right so go there in yeah, the home page or anywhere so go to the exact page and click edit page so you can add your flow in this app builder here so i do have this one here i'm going to remove this flow i don't need it and i'm going to replace with our new flow case creation with the file upload that is it save it and yep that's all so if you come here then it will be here so agents can log into the home page and they can start creating a case directly from here and if you don't want to give all the details in the first page itself you can have um, another screen uh, before the screen to have a custom button or they can just click next to go to the screen uh, if you want if you don't want to show uh, like this very first time so you can do that as well all right yeah you can uh, play around with this like any, any anything you wanted to add or modify or remove you can do a number of things with this flow i just give you a basic thing to create a uh, record and how to attach a file to that record so yep. that's all i wanted to cover in this video let me know if you have any questions or suggestions i'll definitely explore and try to show you how it works thank you then and thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye